Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 12th, 2025. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Showed you early this morning. We did have a couple plasma filaments taking off from the surface as well. That plasma shot. Strong C-class solar flare. But we had yet another plasma whip. As you can see here, we'll see it on the right-hand side with the incoming imagery. Left-hand side, we've got sun, uh, coronal hole region. Active sunspots turning into view. And big plasma filament whipping around. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed with daily events worldwide. Give you a little earth to scale. Looking at outgoing imagery. Plasma filament taking off there as well. There's still quite a few that are connected to our sun right now. Having a look at multi-spectrum. Pointing out the last 48 hours of events. You can see that tall plasma filament erecting from the surface of the sun. And more plasma filaments in the northern hemisphere that we're going to be keeping an eye on. Notable nine Earth-facing sunspots right now. Looking at 171 angstroms. Coronal hole region in the southern hemisphere. Instantly putting us now into level one geomagnetic storm. With the increased solar winds from the coronal hole wind stream. Here is a look at sunspot regions in motion. As the more southern sunspots, right hand side, were growing very fast and some active sunspot regions turning into view. Having a look now at our sunspot regions, we have nine that are Earth facing right now, and two of them are primed. Current space weather conditions are we are reporting level one geomagnetic storm impacts. Solar winds are coming in at 451 kilometers per second right now. Expecting the coronal hole wind stream over the next 12 hours at the same time as a coronal mass ejection. Solar X-ray flux showing strong C-class solar flare spike there. Proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP5 today. Space Weather Prediction Center has not put in the new CME models, but you can see impact dates there late into the 12th and 13th. We can expect the coronal hole wind stream and a CME at the same time. Simultaneous filament eruptions today. Moderate C-class solar flares, and this is a look at the last three days of cosmic energies leaving our sun. Data stopping at 3 a.m. this morning, so not including today's events. So stay tuned, give you daily updates and updated visuals. Tonight's Aurora view line and tomorrow's more prevalent tomorrow. Earthquakes the past 24 hours still slightly above average. Recent earthquakes, Mentone, Texas. Largest earthquake past 24 hours, 5.7 Pacific Antarctic Ridge north of the only active and erupting volcano, Erubus, in the Antarctic. No notable deep earthquakes, Fiji. They're all popping off here in the Philippines. Deepest earthquake past 24 hours, 519 kilometer depth. As well, Philippines on watch. Japan is also. Carrying on here around the world, 5.0 earthquake here in northern Peru, Jayanka, 71 kilometer depth, notable earthquakes, seismicity building, Puerto Rico. Across North American plate, no real notable earthquakes or swarms to talk about. But we're going to look here. USGS is reporting 231 earthquakes in the past 24 hours. We've seen about six earthquakes. The Pacific Antarctic Ridge. 
three quarters of the earthquakes have been here, California and Alaska. Even Hawaii seeing some seismicity throughout the day today. Stanley, Idaho with a 2.6. Again, no major swarms, but notable minor seismicity building all around Los Angeles and the shorelines of California. San Andreas Fault. A lot of bangers are right on the fault line today. Pacific Northwest has been eerily quiet up into the Juan de Fuca. Thank God for the large eruptions at the Hawaiian volcano, Kilauea. Here's a look at the earthquakes. New Mexico, border with Texas. One of the largest fracking operations in North American soil. Carrying on here, let's have a look at the earthquakes the past seven days. Shakers and movers around the world. Largest earthquake being a 6.4 Colombia, as well as 6.2 Chile. Other than that, earthquakes have been pretty widespread, waiting for a deep, over 600 kilometer depth earthquake in the next 24 hours with this next geomagnetic instability affecting Earth. Peculiar Southern Hemisphere action close to the mighty Mount Erubus, the one and only active and erupting volcano on the Antarctic plate. Now let's have a look at the air quality forecast brought to you by the sulfur dioxide emissions and the 78 volcanoes around the world, also including wildfire smoke that is sweeping across eastern North America. Overlooking Australia, things are going to be clearing out this week. High pressure ridge moving in, but still a lot of eruptions through heavy volcanic region of Indonesia. Notable plumes coming out of northeastern United States and Ontario all week long. Not the greatest air quality. Hoping things are going to change here with a lot of moisture. Multiple lows developing through the week, but smashing into a strong high pressure ridge in the Atlantic and as well building through Canada. No major systems or hurricanes forecasted, but watch for an extreme weather event, long range, 20th into the 22nd, all across eastern North America. And then our first, or sorry, second cyclone for the Pacific Ocean and possible first hurricane for the Atlantic. Long range forecast, but again, stay tuned as these models can change literally overnight. Carrying on here, overlooking Southeast Asia and Africa. Very dry for Africa. Not many systems for Europe either. Most of all the rain and strong systems are affecting China, Myanmar, and India all week long. Multiple lows grinding up into China. No typhoons or cyclones here forecast for the long range but definitely seeing some big changes in our atmosphere, as noted yesterday, showing the upper level winds, the polar vortex in the Southern hemisphere. This is a look overlooking the Pacific Ocean, still a very strong high pressure ridge, which is dry air off the coast of California. Not until the long range will those systems start breaking it down and we'll see some moisture for the West Coast. This is a current look at satellite imagery overlooking Canada. Wildfires that are burning through BC and Alberta. Wildfire smoke is sweeping across the nation. As well being wrapped up in a strong low pressure system that's moving across the United States. There's actually two of them. One is moving through Texas right now. Another one coming out of Colorado. Watch for extreme weather over the next 24 to 36 hours and for it to continue daily over the next few days for the United States, especially through the, of course, the extreme weather regions and Tornado Alley. Even as far south as Florida, could see some pretty extreme weather, some pretty high cloud tops here with some supercells around the Tampa Bay region, coastal regions of Texas, much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show today. A lot of information shared here. Stay safe and healthy out there. Stay aware and prepared. 
Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. Thank you.